I'm out enjoying the sunshine with my best friends here, Petey and Eddie, and they walk me a couple times a day to make sure I get outside and get some fresh air. So come on over to the bench and I'm going to tell you about today's storybook. Come on, you guys. Good job. All right. Here we go. Come on up, Eddie, if you want. Okay. Um, so today's story is Why Do Dogs Bark? Have you ever wondered that? I wonder a lot of things, but this book's going to give us some of those answers. The author is Joan Halub, and the illustrations are by Anna DeVito. So let's start our story. Let's go. Come on, guys. Good job. Wow, that was a great walk with Petey and Eddie today. I really enjoyed getting outside in that fresh air. So today we're going to get to our story. But first, we're going to go over our rules. Be kind, be helpful, be a reader, and what's the last one? Clean up. Good job. Okay, so now to our story. Why do dogs bark? Take a close look. Do you think it's fiction or nonfiction? Hmm. If you said nonfiction, you'd be right. This is a realistic book with real facts and information for us. It's going to answer some fun questions. So here we go. Do you love dogs? Many people love dogs. Dogs are even called man's best friend. There are over 100 kinds of dogs or breeds of pet dogs. Some popular breeds are retrievers, Cocker Spaniels, and German Shepherds. Dogs that are a mix of breeds are mixed breeds or mutts. Which dogs are the smallest and the biggest? This is a good question. Dogs come in many different shapes and sizes. Chihuahuas are the smallest dogs. A teacup Chihuahua will fit in your hand. Put out your hand, let's see. That's pretty small. Mastiffs and St. Bernard's are the biggest dogs. They can weigh over 250 pounds. That's about as much as four of you guys put together. Wow, that's big. Which dogs are the best? No one breed of dog is the best at everything, but many breeds have special skills. Greyhounds can run very fast. They have powerful legs and thin bodies. Some can run 40 miles an hour. So what that means is, is if this dog ran for one whole hour, it would get 40 miles away. That's a long ways. So that's really fast. Terriers are brave. They will hunt animals that are much bigger than they are. Retrievers are great swimmers. They have webbed toes to help them swim. They can even swim underwater. What can your dog do best? That's something to think about for a second if you have a dog, or if you know someone who has a dog, what do they do best? How many puppies can a dog have at one time? A group of puppies born at one time is called a litter. A mother dog can have many puppies in one litter. Five is the most common number though. One dog had a litter of 22 puppies. That's almost as many kids in our classroom. Newborn puppies of all breeds look a lot alike. It can be hard to tell what breed a newborn puppy is. How does a puppy grow up to be a dog? Puppies are born with their eyes closed. They can't see or hear until they're two or three weeks old. When puppies were three or, three or four weeks old, they begin to walk, bark, play, and wag their tails. Puppies drink milk from their mothers until they are five to seven weeks old. They may also lick their mother's face so she'll spit up food for them to eat. Then they are usually ready to eat puppy food. 
Most puppies become full-grown dogs when they are about one year old. Are dogs related to wolves? Yes, a long time ago, there were no dogs. Then people taught some wolves to be helpful. Over hundreds of years, some of these wolves changed. They became the dogs that we have today. Other wolves did not change and they are still wild. What is a pack of dogs or wolves? A pack is like a dog's family. Dogs and wolves like to eat, play, and sleep with their pack. Each pack has one leader. Your dog thinks your family is its pack. It thinks someone in your family is the leader. Do you know who? Why do dogs bark? We finally got to our question that's in the title. Your dog barks to protect your house and yard. When a stranger comes around, it barks to sound an alarm. It wants to tell you and your family that a stranger is nearby. Your dog may also bark to tell a stranger to go away. Some dogs bark to greet their owners when they come home. Okay, I'm gonna stop there and I'm gonna talk to you about your uh, assignment for writing and it's a fun one so I think you'll really enjoy it. So you are going to do three things. You're going to write the sentence frame to create your own question. Okay, remember it's a question, not a statement. So we use a what? A question mark. And it says why do and then you fill in what your question is. Now don't use this one but I was thinking hmm why do stars Twinkle. That's a good question. So something like that, but choose your own question, okay? And then you're going to have your question written down. You're going to ask two people in your house or by phone, or you can Skype them, and ask them what their answers are. And it doesn't matter if their answer is right or wrong, just write it down, okay? Because the next step, you're going to get to go on Google and you are going to research your question. And you're going to find your answer and you're going to create a sentence saying what the answer is. So three steps. Create your question, ask two people, and then you're gonna write your answer. So it's going to be at least one, two, three sentences, probably four or five. Be sure you're using your capital at the beginning, your punctuation at the end. Your first one is a what? It's a question, okay? Enjoy your writing today. Get out and enjoy the sunshine and get some fresh air. And I hope your dog takes you for a walk today like mine did. I'm really happy I have Petey and Eddie to take me out every single day. All right, I'll talk to you soon. Oh, my God.